Hello guys, uh, this is our course, uh, Distributed Antenna System from Planning to Acceptance. We are still in the series of creating the initial DAS design. This is a step-by-step -step guide on how to create a DAS design, an initial DAS design. After you're creating your initial DAS design, you're gonna do a site survey and then you're gonna visit your, uh, your design again to optimize and tune it and finalize it for installation. This is how it works and you need to follow these steps in order to have an optimum DAS design at the end of the day. Okay, uh, last session we already explained uh, how to connect the components together, how to connect your antenna, splitter, stabbers, and then if you have an active uh, DAS or hybrid DAS, you're gonna just insert or import your head end that you received from the client in a, a compatible format. This format should be compatible with the planning tool that you're using, whether it's IBWAVE or it's RAM plan or whatever. You need to have uh, the compatible file format uh, from your client, which, which is related to the head end. After you have your head end file, you just need to put it in, uh, into your design, into the design plan, and then you need to connect uh, the power source or the RF source, the BTS in this case, that your base station, you need to connect it to the head end and then you connect you connect your head end which in this case uh, your connection point which is the remote unit you need to connect the remote unit to each and every antenna in your design okay and then you're gonna balance your design okay balance it means you're gonna have a, a uniform distribution along your whole floor in each and every floor you have a uniform distribution distribution the difference between the least signal power the least power level uh, in the floor and the high power level uh, on the floor, which is, I mean, the EIRP in this case, which is the EIRP or the power level at each antenna, you need to have a difference of maximum 3 dB, 2 to 3 dB difference between the, the least uh, power bit channel uh, on any of the antenna in the floor and the highest power bit channel on any antenna in the, uh, on, in the floor, okay? The difference should be between 2 to 3 dB in order to achieve the uniform distribution or, or in order to balance your design. After you connect everything together with the power source, with everything, everything is connected. There is no mismatch between the connectors and the type of connectors, okay? You can create something called heat maps. This is our lesson today. It's about coverage prediction or coverage simulation inside the planning tool. Let's say you have your, your building uh, already uh, exported in a 3D format. You already checked or verified your, uh, your building model inside the planning tool you already ensured that there is no missing walls, there is no uh, incorrect uh, wall height or incorrect window height or so on. And then you connect the components and then you can create something called heat maps. What's the heat map? Heat map, it's uh, the term related to the, uh, the technology uh, coverage uh, result or technology coverage map, okay? For each and every technology, let's say your design uh, is going to be based on 2G, 3G, 4G, and 5G. GSM, uh, UMTS, or wideband CDMA. You have also LTE, FDD, or LTE, TDD, okay? or, or you have 5G. For each and every technology, you need to create something called heat map, the coverage parameter or the coverage uh, map of each and every technology. And you can create it simply like right-click or something, depending on the planning tool that you're using. You need just to create a map for a certain technology. After you create that heat map, you can just run prediction, something called run prediction, or you need to run the simulation on the whole floor or the whole building. After you run the simulation, you're gonna have something similar to this. You're gonna have the signal levels represented into different colors, depending on the, on the color legend that you have in your planning tool. And you can, of course, customize your color region, legend as per your KPIs. You can put, for example, you know, that the, it, it's uh, according to the standard, the black color, it means it, 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 it has the lowest signal level. The highest signal level, which is related to the red color or dark red color, this is the highest signal level. This is according to the standard legend. You can, of course, customize the legend. Uh, the orange color, it's less, uh, less power than the red, the red color or the dark uh, red color, okay? The green color, it means it's around next 70 or next 75 dBm which is less than the orange color. And below, below the green color, there is the blue color. This color, this is the light blue. The light blue, it's, it's lower in signal strength. And then the dark blue, it's much lower than the, the, the light blue, okay? And then the black color, which is the lowest signal strength, okay? 
this is how the power legend will look like how the color code will look like in your building uh, every and each color represents a signal a certain signal strength okay which uh, whether it's high or low or highest or lowest okay and as mentioned in the beginning as an eye-based designer you should have the sense the engineering sense you need to make sure that these uh, colors are you know logical it's it's not uh, it's not illogical or, or it doesn't make sense you need to have it you need to to make sure it makes sense for example this antenna uh, any place around or nearby this antenna in this area it should be dark red so if you have for example here in this in this pointer in my pointer here if you have this area instead of dark color it's green or it's blue or dark blue it means there is something here blocking the antenna so you need to revisit your uh, 3d model or 3d modeling of your building and you need to make sure there is no missing there is no extra object here blocking the antenna there is no metal part or metal object here blocking the antenna maybe you have a double wall maybe whatever so you need to everything is like a cycle it's like a closed loop or like a cycle you need to if you have any abnormal uh, or uh, nonsense measurement here or nonsense result you need to revisit your 3d modeling and you need to correct to, to correct your design okay for example this antenna as you can see here this antenna it's it has a very less or a very low signal i mean the signal level which is the high signal level which is a dark red it's very less i mean it's it's low it's not big it does not have the the you know the bigger circle like this one or like maybe this one so maybe if you shift the antenna if you move the antenna from this place a little bit to uh, to this direction or you can move it a little bit to this direction you're gonna have a big circle maybe you're gonna have a big coverage radius or a big coverage circle you got my point the same point same by similarity this antenna this antenna it has like yellow color around it should it should have red uh, dark red right because it's it's ne the nearest point or the nearest area to the antenna so it does not make sense to have to to have it does not make sense for the signal strengths around the antenna to be yellow it should be dark red so maybe it's, there is some blocking here you can shift the antenna right or left a little bit or here in this direction or the other direction just to make sure that you uh, uh, you have you, you free you, you just you just increase or you just have the proper uh, coverage radius or the proper coverage uh, area for each and every antenna I hope you got my point in this so uh, after you run your prediction you run your prediction for each to each technology like you have the RSSI coverage prediction for the GSM you have RSCP for the 3G you have RSRP for the LTE uh, for each and every signal parameter you have a certain uh, coverage or a certain heat map okay you need to revisit your your design you need to double check your 3D modeling, uh, any missing, mo missing wall, any double objects, and so on. And you revisit again and optimize again until you, until you reach the optimum design or the ideal design in this case. Okay? And, and during this phase as well, you need to make sure you use already the corridor effect that we already explained. Uh, make sure, for example, this antenna, if you can shift this antenna to this direction, you're going to uh, benefit from the corridor effect. Okay, or, or if you're gonna shift it to this location in, instead of this location, if you put it here in, in this location, you're gonna benefit from the corridor effect. This is one example, okay? Make sure that your design, it's not under design or it's not over design. It should be balanced design. Balanced, it means you have a uniform distribution. You, you used already the minimal uh, components, minimal number of components, minimal number of coaxial cables, uh, and you used minimal uh, amount of signal power or RF power in your floor. By this way, you have a balanced design. You are, you are reaching the optimum design. Of course, you cannot achieve the optimum design now because you need to do RF survey, you need to do some measurement to, to have an optimum design. But at least you have something like uh, near the optimum design or something near the ideal design, okay? What we mean by under design, under design it means you didn't achieve the KPIs. You run the prediction and you have so many uh, dark, so many black colors or so many dark blue, which means you don't have a sufficient power level inside the building. So, you, so that you need either to increase the power level on each and every antenna or you increase the, the number of antennas. Okay, you need, you need just to choose which direction you need to go. Okay, 
uh, in the other in the other way you can end up of having over design over design means uh, instead of you know uh, the dark blue or light blue or green you should you have all the colors uh, mentioned in the building like only three colors dark red green and orange and yellow or four colors you don't have blue you don't have dark blue you don't have green that means you have you have in this way you have over design it means your signal power level it's much high it's it's high it's very much much higher than the expected much higher than achieving the kpis you don't need to you don't need to transmit much higher power in order to achieve the kpis it does not make sense you need to have a balanced design you cannot increase the power to the highest you cannot decrease the power to, to the lowest level you cannot increase the amount of components to the highest number of components it's it's a trade off you should have a balanced design this is what i mean okay make sure that you put all location all components in its proper locations according to the site survey we are going to we are going to explain what we mean by site survey in the next sessions and make sure by running the prediction by running the heat map and the heat maps you achieve the kpis and if you remember during the kpis maybe you are required to achieve uh, NIG 95 percent and NIG 95 dbm in 95 or 90 percent of the building so you need to check the legend and the planning tool itself will tell you exactly whether you achieved you passed the kpis or you uh, you do, you didn't achieve the kpis if you didn't achieve the kpis you need to revisit your design again you need to increase the number of antennas you need uh, maybe you need to increase the power level a little bit maybe you need to uh, move or shift the antenna locations a little bit to achieve the KPIs. Once you achieve the KPIs and you have all heat maps like this and you achieve the KPIs for whole technology, of course, if you achieve, by the way, if you achieve the KPIs for the limiting technology that you calculated, all the other technologies will be uh, will be achieving the KPIs. It will be passed for the KPIs. Okay. At this point, you have a proper design, a proper design, and you need to do one, you need to do one final step, which is the site survey. You need to do physical site survey and RF site survey. We're going to explain this in the next section. See you next, next session, inshallah.